So why are we doing this? This is the same advantage of doing master budgets. It's basically the standard cost is the different, is the parts of master budget, basically. So master budget, we directly give you the numbers. What is the sales price? What is the expected volume that we're selling? This part here just goes back to how we determine the expected sales price, how we determine the expected quantity. So it actually helps managers to determine what is the entire master budget and set the target levels. Um, set sale prices, sales prices of products because remember sales price comes from the expected unit cost first. You definitely want to mark that up from that. You don't want to have a sales price that's lower than the cost. Right, so this is just the theoretical background. Where it does, what is useful for master budget, and in more details, where does master budget's number comes from? Accountants needs to work with purchase managers, needs to work with human resource departments and staff, needs also to work with the production cycles managers to determine what are the materials, the labor, overhead costs that needs to be spent, and specifically break down the cost into pricing quantity. All of these are on the budget side, not the actual numbers.